Hi guys, so this is my new design of a laser engraving machine. So to build the frame of this machine, I just want to use some aluminum square trip, just I can also use at the rail. So for the linear bearing, I just want to use the new design, just I make some changes compared to the one just I show you previously. This one is a bit more symmetrical, so it's easier to put it uh, in this setup. The other one that I showed you is kind of asymmetrical setup. So to put it in this machine, you have to pay attention to which way you put in the bolt and uh, which way the bearing going to be oriented. So it's not easy. So that's why I made the changes. So let's just take a closer look at the structure of this setup. Okay, so here's the setup of the linear bearing. So I have two pair of the side plate, uh, just a vertical and horizontal. On the vertical side, I make the distance of the bearing a bit longer compared to the horizontal side because I think just on this side, you need to support more weight uh, than the horizontal side. That's why I make it a bit more stable, so the distance a bit longer. Uh, what else? Uh, I also have to cut out uh, some of the spacer here from plastic, hard plastic. Uh, it have a smaller inner ring here to push again this ring of the bearing so it doesn't touch the other parts so it's going to let the bearing rotate freely. This uh, spacer here, I'm going to cut it from a vinyl tube and I will show you my trick to cut it uh, better. Like more consistent with the length and a flat surface at the edge. Okay, so I have here everything I needed to put together this uh, linear bearing setup. So I have the 8 by 16 bearing. So it's 8 millimeter diameter. And uh, well, I just have the bolt, M8 bolt, max uh, wrench. And I cut out two pair of this uh, side plate. One is for a bit longer distance from the hole to hole here for the vertical side and this is for the horizontal side a bit shorter so they fit into each other like the puzzle piece not just like last time I mill out some of the hot plastic spacer uh, I also have to cut some um, longer spacer from vinyl tube just 5 by 16 in a diameter uh, just I buy from Lowe's uh, just for also very cheap price. The hardest part of this is just probably to cut this spacer to the length. Uh, in the case of the laser engraving machine, I only use one bearing on each side. So this spacer, the length is 26 millimeter. To cut them uh, really more consistently and also to have a flat part on the at the end. Here, what I use is I make these two, use these two M8 bolt. So this one, I jam lock it the distance from this to the edge of the nuts here, about 27 or 28 millimeter. This one will be exactly 26 millimeter. What I do is just, I cut the piece with the length about 29, 30 millimeter, doesn't need to be exact. And I just slide this on here and then use my knife to trim it at the end of the nuts of the bolt. So you have one side is flat, then you just pull it out. A bit tight. Once you pull it out, you just slide the flat part into here, then you trim the rest. Okay, so now I have a spacer here. That is exactly 26 millimeter and it's really flat on both ends. So that's my trick to cut those. So let's just put together this um, bearing. So I just use one of the plates here, just slide this through the M8 bolt. So the M8 bolt for to make this, because I use 
five millimeter side plate. So the length of this is at least 80 millimeter length bolt. Like if you want to fix some uh, bracket on the side, like later I want to like, put together the laser engraving machine. I'm going to put use longer bolt. So right now I just use the minimum length just to show you how it works. Uh, but uh, later I will use really longer bolt to put together the laser engraving machine. So just use four of them. Put it flat and put some uh, spacer on. Those spacers are really tight so you might need to use something to help you push it down. I just use my wrench. Okay, so now after push this down, I put some of the the half plastic spacer just have the small inner ring here so it will face up so it push again the inner ring of the bearing and put another one face down so now the bearing only get pushed with the inner ring so it can rotate freely And then another spacer on top. Now just uh, use the other part, just can fit in here on the side. You slide the bolt on, same way. Okay, so now to put them together, this you have to pair up. So this is on this, just slide it in. Okay, so now we just fix the bearing set up with the nuts so as I said before if you have any type of flange or bracket that you want to fix on this you just make the bolt a bit longer so you can fix it here on both sides so now just tighten it a little bit don't need to be too tight. Okay, so now let's just test. Wow, oh, you can see it can uh, roll uh, really freely. And let's see if it have any play. Well, not that I can feel up. I can try to move it up and down and side to side. It's really tight. And even if it has some, you can just reduce the distance between the hole a little bit here on this side so it's reduce the play. So this is going to be the setup that I'm going to use on, for my laser engraving machine. It's a lot uh, simpler to put it together uh, compared to the, my last design. It's more symmetrical so you can like just flip the side. Yeah, so just be patient. Uh, I will show you how I put together the laser engraving machine using this setup in my next video.